Okay, good morning everyone. Um, so I just wanted to record like a, a very quick meeting, a, a quick video on how to use Microsoft Teams to set up a meeting. So um, with the details I gave you, you should be able to log into Teams. So please, if you have not done so already, you, should download, you can download Teams. For your students, like anybody I sharing the link to, does not have to have Teams. You can just join without um, having a Teams account or Microsoft account. Just email address will be okay. So it's just it's just like Zoom, but just that you can um, you have the Microsoft Office um, what's it called license. So um, once you log into Teams, um, I'm logged into my desktop. You can use your phone too. So but once you log in, you, there are two ways. I think um, you can either have meet a meeting icon here, like this video icon here. Either you search it somewhere or go to calendar. If you don't see it there, you go to calendar. So and then you can once you get to calendar you will see meet now. Or a new meeting. So you can here you can create schedule a meeting. So click new meeting and then add the video the details. So if you're having maybe breakout session one and maybe web development. Um, obviously, you can change the time zone. You can you require responses. No, you don't require registration. Response, and then add attendance. So, um, because of the like I mentioned before, because I want you to have access to the recordings, so you can. Oh, anytime you are creating meeting, please add me so I will know when. I think what my name is. Is it Olazo Musala? Oh, ah. ah, okay, because maybe because I'm the one creating the meeting, so it's not showing my name. But if you type Oliver Bonusa, you should see my name come up. It's not there. So, but if you type my type my name, and so that I can have access to the um, the recordings. Because no, okay, I'll show you. I'll show you that one. Um, that, so you can always share the meeting. Uh, whatever time, and type the video, and type the meeting, and then once you save it, okay, let me let me just type Timothy's name there. So, once you save, once you save, <laughs> okay. So once you s send it, then you already have it in your calendar. So, and also you can. Get the link. So this is the link. So just click click on it, and then you can send it to everybody. So um, this this is the um, what is it now? This is the reason why I'm asking you to add me. So see, this is a meeting that okay. This is a trial meeting I had. So this is the meeting that we had on Tuesday, the Dana Engineering um, meeting. So if you come here, you'll be able to see. Sorry, my network is very bad. So you'll be able to see. Um, the you can, you can get an attendance report so you know those people that attended the meeting, and also you can get the recording. So that's that's why I said Teams is better. So you can get you can always get recordings, and then you can get the attendance reports for for the particular um, meeting. So yeah, I guess that. So just make anytime you are joining a okay, yes, anytime you create a meeting, please add me so that I can always like have it. So. If you have a list of meetings, I should be able to have like a list of meetings. So for everybody having meetings today, I should be able to have a list so that I can have access to the um to the what's it called now? To the recordings and also anything you share in the chat will reflect here. So like um, Julian posted a link here and it's still reflecting here. So that's another um, feature of things that I think I prefer over uh, every other what's it called now. So thank you, and if you have any questions about it, please let me know. Thank you.